Hi everybody, Doug and B. Ed, Big Ed back here in the shop, uh, getting ready to fire off this new G2. It is fully installed on the boat. Uh, ready to start, Big Ed? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we'll show you a little bit about it first here. We did put the side panels on it. As you can see, it does match the top rail and the consoles on the boat. Um, so we're able to match our engines now. We talked about that a little bit. And uh, if old Big Ed is ready, we're going to hear it breathe its first breath here. It'll just be a very short start up. Yeah. Fired right off. Easier. Actually, it starts easier than the, than the original Lebanon E-Test. Yeah. It started easy already, so. I agree. Now, uh, our other other old e techs they still had primer bulbs on them. Yes. Now, now so once we... Not. Yeah, exactly. Now, once we started the e techs we never had to prime the bulb again, but we don't need primer bulbs with this at all. No. No. Now, why is that again? I think it's the higher flow of fuel pump they've got in it. And it's a 30 horse fuel pump, but I think it, it runs a little different. It has a little bit better lift capacity or uh, capabilities than what the old pumps did. Yeah. Um, it started like that, starts like that. If it's going to do that every time, you can't beat it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. Definitely changed the way we do things. Well, we're going to go over a couple of things on the engine this morning. As you can see, Eddie's got everything put back in. He's got the new control box on it. Uh, got the new gauge system. Got the new hot foot. Um, it is wired into the fish finder for the gauge package as well. So we can, we can yeah, all part of the network. So we can actually watch digital gauges through our fish finder now. Now, a uh, couple of things back here. We, uh, we did put the new prop on this dude, and we've kind of touched some base on this before. Now this was the original prop on, uh, on our 250 E-Tech. Now you can see it has right here what's called aeration holes. And uh, the way that's worked in the past was we needed a certain amount of bubbles going through this prop to help it wind up and spin up for some power. Now with our new hub, our new prop, there is no aeration holes it'll actually spin in solid water with all the torque this engine has and the uh, prop shaft is bigger as well. Is that right, Eddie? Yes, it's an eighth inch not bigger diameter of the base prop. Wow. So it's got a lot bigger shaft, new prop. Now, uh, the old props can fit on these, but uh, we do have to plug off the aeration holes. Now, Eddie, we got a new locking mechanism back here, too. Yes. Show us what that's all about. Now the power trim unit on this dude is impressive. It's a monster. Yes, very, very huge cylinders on it. Um, but with the more power, it's going to need them. I mean, really. Yeah, yeah. With the torque, it will need the bigger ones. The new locking mechanism is just that simple. No more pinching your fingers in them like you did in the yeah, past. Yeah, excellent. And the motor's trimmed up and locked. And Flip it just, down. So much easier to work with. Yes, it is. Well, anyway, this is J.R. Isom's brand new uh, 250HOG2. Um, Going to put it in the water here in the next day or so and see how it does run. Uh, J.R. will probably be up here this afternoon, and we'll do a short video with him. Uh, by then, hopefully, he's drove it and can give us a guess on how much more powerful it is than his existing 250HO. All right. Good job, Eddie. Has it been, has it been fun? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> definitely a learning experience. That's right. First G2 of many, many we will rig on these boats. So, anyway, have another video coming soon.